Hi, I'm Filipino Wiperbot here. Welcome to my channel again. So guys, I've been getting a lot of DMs regarding my thoughts on Donna already being quiet. Wala po kong pakialam na meron na po siyang girlfriend and may nangliligaw na rin naman na po sa amin. Wala na po kaming problema. Okay. Multiple folks wanted to know if she'd be a good catch for another Kano or Abam and if they would want to bring her back to the U.S. But before I get into that topic, I wanted to say I have the highest respect for Donna and also Richard. What they did in creating their story online, um, the houses they built, and the effectiveness of their communication each step along the way. It was absolutely fabulous and that really impacted my life and my husband's perspective of our future. We wanted to follow in their steps and build a home in my hometown as I mentioned in my recent video. So using the same approaches and the techniques that they demonstrated in their videos. But after they separated, my husband's perspective changed a bit. He could see how trying to build these houses would create enormous stress on a relationship and he's a bit more concerned that we take the right approach when we decide to build on our property in my hometown. As such, we were super interested in what caused the separation and trying to avoid any similar issues happening in our own relationship, which is why we've been following the saga closely. So we continue to use Donna and Richard as somewhat of a couple that we can learn from. So we can hopefully avoid their pitfalls as well as leverage their past success. So now that's out of the way. We wanted to focus on Donna's comment about already having suitors available to her, even though she's still married. And the question that keeps coming up, is she a good catch for a foreigner? After talking to my husband, we started looking at the positives and the negatives about Donna and any potential red flags that someone may have and wanting to date her and possibly relocating to the United States. So let's start with the positive side first, okay? So my husband said, um, Donna is extremely attractive, which I agree. She has a strong sex appeal, even in the Philippines. This is really true. And I may give her like 8 out of 10 by looks. Well, it's obvious when she fixes herself up. She's a very beautiful woman and everybody can see that. It's just absolutely clear. And Richard was lucky to have such a beautiful woman. So she's exceptionally clever too. Charming. Um, she's confident. Wonderfully presentable, adventurous, very independent. I can see that too. Uh, flexible and very hardworking. On the hardworking side, anybody who watched the videos um, could see her doing heavy manual labor with Richard when getting those houses built. This is not a simple task for somebody that's not used to this type of work. And she jumped into it headfirst without fear. And it was very wonderful to watch a woman really give it all. Okay, so something that my husband mentioned that I see both as a positive and negative. But it's positive for, for my husband that Donna doesn't seem to have incredibly strong attachment to her family and even extended family. Those ties sometimes can lead to a lot of headaches. As we Filipino wives sometimes focus more on extended families than our husbands and children, Donna doesn't seem to have that issue one way or the other. Okay, and these are some of the negative traits or the red flags that we've noticed after watching all the videos. By the way, um, all of this is meant to be just our observations, okay? Everybody in the world has good things and bad things about themselves. All of these comments are done of the warmest of feelings for Donna and not meant to be a criticism. So the first big red flag that any new sorter will have to deal with is the fact that she does have three kids with two different baby daddies. That means She's got five times the headaches and troubles as you move through life. 
A lot of men will shy away from single moms and will not really engage with anyone whose children they'll have to help raise. The interactions with the baby daddies or baby fathers and the drama with the kids and the potential financial support. Again, financial support can often be overwhelming and will put an incredible amount of strain on any new relationship, especially here in the U.S. So this is just a fact and not a surprise to anybody watching this. And I'm sure Jonah will be the first to admit. All right, so the second big red flag is the failed marriage. We Filipinas are known to be loyal and dedicated and to have one actually get divorced while never leaving the Philippines is incredibly rare. There's not any couple around me that I know of got divorced except Filipino celebrities, yeah. I understand the divorce issue because that's part of my life here now in the US. It's more common in here, like, yeah, like in this place, country, but in the Philippines, just not. Most couples stay together and when they don't stay together, they have to go through the annulment process, which takes forever. Or they simply separate um, and live very separate lives. This is not Donna's case and the drama that goes with this. And the fact that she's so far outside of the cultural norms is bound to have long-standing ramifications that I can't even begin to imagine. So the next red flag is, and I'm not passing judgment on this, okay? But it was something my husband brought up um, when Donna was in the midst of the construction, she let her appearance slip. Donna started wearing almost exclusively t-shirts. Um, she gained some weight and she was not presenting herself as this exotic beauty that she did when Richard and herself first met. Because a lot of men, as my husband tells me, really wants that super feminine Donna who looks like a million bucks whenever she is seen on camera. So my husband thinks that's our red flag. That in the middle of such a short marriage, she decided to no longer invest in herself like she was doing. That said, she was building a house. I was telling my husband that she was out there doing manual labor and that may be too much to ask, but nonetheless, my husband says it's our red flag. Okay, another red flag. Um, Donna also has a strong desire for publicity. And I know the YouTube channel is generating a lot of her income. And that's how she makes money. She made a fair amount of money from this publicity, such as her appearance on GMA, or Rafi Tofo, um, or her own videos as well as sometimes like partnering with other vloggers, those have given her significant exposure. And this exposure one way or the other is a high risk for a lot of men coming to the Philippines. I can't imagine most men ever wishing to be in front of the camera with Rafi Tulfo, um, explaining what they did right and wrong, or having the darkest secrets revealed. And um, it's, a very scary red flag and also she has better skills in front of a camera microphone than almost any man she's going to interact with if she does get into a situation where a lot of publicity is involved it'll be tough to not allow her to control the narrative in a discussion most men will be outmatched by donna in this regard so the final big red flag my husband mentioned and it's something he said for the last four years. Um, he reminds me that Donna mentioned on GMA during her interview when she and Richard um, were first getting started that she liked bad boys and viewed Richard as a bad boy. I saw him and he looks like a bad boy. So <laughs> I was like, okay, okay. I believe that it means that it's just somebody who it may be more naughty in a bedroom 
but my husband hears that and thinks that it's a woman who's looking for adventure uh looking for the next rush of excitement and will be difficult to please a lot of men come to the Philippines looking for a traditional wife who will be happy with typical traditional family structure. From what I see in the US, um, women who say they like bad boys often leave the good man who will take care of them monetarily, emotionally, protect them from harm, and give them whatever they can just for the bad boys who treat them poorly but gives them the rush, the feeling of excitement. and energizes desires so those are the big red flags and i want to wrap this up because it's getting really really late and i need to get to bed soon so tired and exhausted but the way i view donna is that she'd be an awesome casual dating relationship for someone um her wit her beauty her charm are undeniable and should just be the best date if you're a man and you want to spend time with somebody and really enjoy it um, if you're looking to move to the Philippines and find a partner, my husband says that uh, she would be a possible match for a long-term partner. Um, he says that the red flags are less important in the Philippines and there is a bit more control. He's really worried about her inability to maintain relationships though. But my husband thinks that it is probably more manageable inside the Philippines now that she's getting older than it would be if she moved to the US or another foreign country or location. So finally, did my husband think it would be a good idea to bring Donna to the US? He said, nope, no, no, no. He believes that the combination of the multiple kids, particularly being young, Mm, the fact that she's had trouble maintaining relationships and that she really wants the bad boys uh, are just too many issues to overcome when coming to the U.S. Because in the U.S., um, she'll certainly be shown more attention than she probably gets in the Philippines. That's for sure. And even in discussions with my Filipino community here, most agreed that here in the US, Filipinas are exposed to different opportunities and different options. Somebody like Donna may very well be looking to move to the next level, take advantage of the next opportunity that comes along uh, versus focusing on a more traditional life that most of men who bring women from the Philippines to the US would look for. That said, um, we have nothing but the greatest respect for Donna and Richard. And this really wasn't meant to be critical or demeaning in any manner. And it's just our opinions and considering the impact they made in our lives. Just for us with what's happening, some of our disappointments that it didn't work out. So if that said, what do you guys think? Do you think Donna would be a good catch to bring back to the U.S.? Do you think she should be a great girlfriend? Do you think she should be a good long-term partner in the Philippines? Let me know your thoughts. But click the subscribe button there and hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for finishing this video. I gotta sleep now. I'm very, very exhausted. Alright, so guys, again, thank you. Bye.